I'm making a cherry frangipani tart. This is an old recipe of my granny's that we used to make together all the time. Start by de-stoning the cherries, and then gonna get a slug of brandy in there, just for a bit of that boozy kick. And that alcohol is gonna help draw all of the lovely juices out of the cherries. This is called macerating, where we're just kind of activating them before they start cooking. Give this a bit of a stir together, a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Cover and leave in the fridge for a couple of hours to macerate before they go in the tart. Cherries have had two hours in the fridge and look at all that lovely liquor that's been collected. They smell so good. Time to make the frangipani. Start with your butter and sugar. I'm gonna cream these together. Give that three or four minutes until it's wonderfully light and fluffy. Now turn the mixer down a bit and add three eggs in just one by one, otherwise they can split. When you see it's mixed, you can add the next one, whack in the last one. Beautiful. Next, ground almonds. Baking powder is gonna help give this a bit of lift, which makes it feel so much lighter. And then lemon zest, one of my favorite ingredients. That citrus is gonna cut through and make this wonderfully zesty and light whole lemon going in. And a final mix together. That's the frangipani done, and it's going into a beautiful, crispy short crust pastry, which I'm gonna show you how to make. Put 360 grams of plain flour in a food processor with 180 grams of cold cubed salted butter. Blitz it, then add ice cold water, a tablespoon at a time, until it comes together, and chill it for an hour. When the time is up, roll it into a circle on a floured surface. Put the pastry in a loose bottom tart case. Gently press it into the sides, leaving the edges untrimmed as they help stop it from shrinking, and chill for 30 minutes. Next, line the tin with crumpled parchment paper. Tip in beans and lentils to help keep the pastry flat, and blind bake at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Then take it out, remove the parchment, lentils and beans, let it cool, and trim the edges with a serrated knife. It works every time. Now, the fun part. Apricot jam, lovely layer on the bottom of this pastry. Follow with the frangipani, just spread that around. The cherries, lots of these going in. Get a nice big handful and just dot them about. And then just press these in. Okay, don't press them down too far or they'll just vanish. And then this is going into the oven, look at it, for about an hour, 50 minutes. 160 degrees until it's wonderfully golden on top. And then you need to just let it rest for 15 minutes before slicing in. That is a tart to be shared. What do you reckon? Yeah, I've smashed that. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so good.